eyes of our understanding Thank you, Lord God. that we might behold great and wonderful things out of your word. Speak to our hearts, Holy Spirit. Yes. Holy Spirit, you're welcome in this place yes, to set yes. free, lift up, bow down here. Yes, Thank you for your word that is forever settled in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is so good. He's so good. He's been so good to us. Amen. We've had some what? Bad days. And we had some good days. But we got to realize that our good days our way, our bad day. Because if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't be sitting here today. Amen. Amen. So when I think of his goodness Hallelujah. and all that he's yeah. done for me, Hallelujah. it causes my soul yeah. to cry out. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you for delivering me. Thank you for raising me up. Thank you for keeping me. Yeah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to Lord. God. Thank, Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, here. We're going to look at Jeremiah 29 and 11 right now. And it is in, I'm going to be reading out of the NIV. I wrote the NIV version of it. Okay, you want NIV? Yes, I'm gonna read out the NIV. Jeremiah 29 and 11. Jeremiah, what, 29th chapter? Mm-hmm. Okay. 29 and verse 11. Gotcha. And it reads, For I know the plan. Yes, sir. I have for you. Okay. Says the Lord. For I know the plans that I have for you, mm -hmm. declares God, the supreme being. Mm -hmm. Master building, architect, and designer of everything. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes. He says, I know the plans that I have for you. Now, these plans are to prosper you. Okay. Prosper means to increase, Hello. do better. Amen. He said, my plans are to prosper you, to increase you, to cause you to do better. My plans are not to harm you. Because the word of God declares that the thief comes to what? Steal, yeah. kill, yeah. and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come that you might have what? Life. Life. Abundantly. And have it more abundantly. Can you see? Are you honing in what this what God says about you? He said, I have plans for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. My plans are to do what? Prosper okay. you, increase you, to cause you to do better. Right. Okay. You see. I didn't, my plans are not to harm you. Mm -hmm. So why do folk always think that when something bad happens to them, it's it God? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. All right now. That shows that have read the word. Mm -hmm. Because God said, I didn't come to harm you. I didn't come to do evil to you. I didn't come to steal from you. I didn't come, I, you know, I, I got plans for you. Mm -hmm. And my plans for you, they are good. Good plans, good plans for you. He said, do you realize that every one of us was sent to planet Earth for a purpose? Mm -hmm. So all of us, he put purpose in us. He has a purpose for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Amen. He has a purpose for that, and that purpose is good. And so, so now, how do we find out what his purpose is for us? We've got to, the Bible says we have to have our minds what? Renewed. 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 We've got to get into the word of God, mm -hmm. especially the New Testament. Right. That's we in a new covenant now. We're a new covenant of people. So you find out what his plans are for you in the new covenant. And you began to read that, study that, meditate on that. You see, I mean, his plans, once you get in the word and find out what he wants you to do, how he wants you to live, how he wants you to be, and, and what he has in store for you, you learn those, those are plans. See, a lot of times people get it mixed up. We feel like, we feel like, oh, as soon as you get saved, come on. Come to church a few times. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, God's calling me to preach. Well, oh, my Lord. <laughs> you know you don't hear that, right? Yeah. Yes, Lord. I mean, God ain't calling all us to preach. <laughs> <laughs> a pastor, he's not calling all us to, into that that ministry. Uh-huh. He's got a plan for you. His plan might be for you to be a, 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 a in the uh, educational realm. Okay. His plan for you might be in the political realm. His plan for you might be in the, uh, uh, you know, legal field. His plan might be for you to, uh, just to be a good person. It, 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 that's it. That's all. But just be a good uh, housewife, a good mother. Okay. Okay. Amen. You see what I'm saying? But why is it? And I think sometimes that's a trick of the enemy to think the folk, that's the only purpose that God has for somebody is to preach. preach. So, so they get this big old Bible up on there, I'm not going to call me to preach. Mm -hmm. And that's why so many folks is messed up today because they call call that's everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. Some folks ain't going to call. Right now. Mm -hmm. There's one thing about me. I know I was called. Okay. I know somebody up here. Yeah, we do too. Yeah. Yeah, we do too. Hallelujah. Okay. Uh uh. Yes, sir. I ain't gonna step out there. See, once you got, you know, you be sure. You don't be. Oh, this is. So, somebody tell you. Well, I think you were called a priest. Okay. Just cause you can speak real good mm -hmm. and talk. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, you's a preacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard that. But see, once you get saved. All of you are ministers. Uh -huh. What does that mean? That means that you are ambassadors for Christ. Okay. That means you can tell people about the good news, what Jesus Christ did for you, yeah. and he'll do the same thing for you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's how you minister to people. You know, all of you are ambassadors for Christ. And so that means you can still tell the good news. Uh -huh. You can tell, still tell the gospel. Right now. Explain the word to him. Amen. Mm -hmm. Heal the sick. Mm -hmm. Lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. Pray for him. Mm -hmm. You still, he wants you. See, that's why he gives us uh, shepherds, pastors to what? To feed the flock. Uh -huh. Okay. With what? Knowledge, Knowledge. and understanding, understanding. So that you can go out and fulfill the work of the ministry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody up in here. Now, he says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord God Almighty. Plans to prosper you, to increase you, to cause you to do better. And I didn't come to, I, my plans are not harm for you. My plans will not harm you. you it's go. plans to give you hope and a future. Hope means great expectation. God wants you to expect that his, his word is going to come to pass in your life. The promises of God. The promises of God. See, now, one thing about that, and I don't know where sometimes, you know, it's a good thing, but God gave us freedom of choice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's where the rubber meets the road right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, this is a good plan. He got good plans for us. But 
it's up to us to choose to walk in the light. That's, That's right. It. That's right. Because he told us in Deuteronomy 30, chapter 30, verse 19. He said, I set before you what? Life and death. Life and death. And I hold earth and heaven to record this right here. Uh -huh. I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. But choose what? Life. Choose. He, he even told you what to choose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, 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 but that, that's yeah. up to you. Because he done gave us the freedom of choice. You see. He said, but choose life so that you and your children can live. Mm -hmm. Good God from Zion. Okay. Uh, you see now, when we choose wrong, that's going to affect our children. I mean, that's why some of us in the mess we in right now. From our what? Four yeah. fathers. <laughs> yeah. You know, because they didn't. They didn't know they hold nothing against them. But once you come to a certain age, you got to you got to know. You got to learn how to choose for yourself, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. And you can't keep holding uh uh uh, uh your parents or uh, uh whoever raised you in hostage. I know that's right. My you know God. what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to hold them. If it won't for you, uh -huh. I, I wouldn't have been in this mess. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You may have not been able to control your circumstances when you was a child. But after you get grown, baby, you can turn your life around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can turn your situation around. You can stop living in the past. Okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Stop living in the past. That's, that's dead and there gone. Go. Mm -hmm. But so now you're of age now where you can get turn your life around. Say so, pal. Good God right. from sight. Yeah, that's right. You can turn your life around yourself. Yes. By the way you begin to start thinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You are allowed the enemy to keep putting them thoughts in your head that uh, you, 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 know, you come up on the wrong side of the tracks or uh, you uh, got held back by this one or by that one. Uh -huh. The enemy will keep feeding that to you. Okay. Yeah. And if you keep throwing into that, okay. mm -hmm. that's the way you're going to think. That's the way you're going to act. Exactly. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes. And then that's a way for him to keep you down. Okay. Do you hear it? He he gonna keep his foot on your neck. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, say so. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It comes to my mind about you know yes, they were going to Washington, take your knee on my neck. Right. Mm -hmm. The devil got his knee on a lot of us necks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Exactly. By the way you're thinking, and you're looking at this one and that one. But so he said, but I gave, but he gave us freedom of choice. Thank God for that. We can choose. And I know I gotta look back over my life. A lot. Uh, you know, I know I made some bad choices. Me too. Amen. In my day. Mm -hmm. I made some. And I don't want to keep right on making bad choices. Mm -hmm. And so if you get in this word here, after you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you begin to get in this book. And begin to read, you know, begin to get your mind renewed, tells you how to act, how to control your thoughts, you see. Mm -hmm. Then you can start making better choices. Mm -hmm. Then you can, you, you will, Jesus said, I'm going away, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave you an orphan or comfortless. Okay. I'm going to send you somebody else just like me. Okay. And what did he do? He sent back the book. The, Holy, the Holy, Spirit. Holy Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit is in here right yeah. now. Lord. Amen. He's yeah. with us. So now when you get up in the morning, the Holy Spirit is right there. Mm -hmm. And so you can talk to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Uh, help me, Holy oh, Spirit. Man, help me today, Holy yes. Spirit. Show Lord. me which way to go, Holy Spirit. And he'll bring the word to you that says, if I acknowledge the Lord, in all my ways, 
He will what? Direct. Direct. Yeah, because I'm going to trust in him yes, with right. all my heart. Yes, sir. And then I'm going to acknowledge him and tell him what I acknowledge me means to tell him. Okay, God, this is blah, blah. I don't know how to do this right here. Can you help me? That's right. Way? Show me. That's right. Show me. You know, should I, should, should, I, should I go this way? Should I go this way? Mm -hmm. uh, whatever. You know, Lord, I, I like this guy. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, for Holy Spirit, show me is he, show me is he ain't good, you know, you know, for me, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. What I should do. But see now, if you've been reading the Word, the Word will tell you how to pick somebody. You know, it ain't gonna tell you should I marry her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Chloe. You can marry her. <laughs> it ain't written no way in there. That's right, not that. But see, you got guidelines in there mm -hmm. to tell you. And then you got sense enough to catch all the red flags. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, some red flags. Red flags. Mm -hmm. But you know, what do you say? Well, he gave us freedom of choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You done got some red flags. Okay. Oh, but God. Oh, I can't do it. Down. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So he's going to let you go ahead. Mm -hmm. But, so we brought that on ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, you know, God, the first marriage was ordained by God, right? Mm -hmm. Whenever he gave Eve to Adam. Mm -hmm. You say, and I'm, I'm not gonna get on, on marriage. Here we're talking about God. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, okay, Jeremiah 29 and 11. But he gave us freedom of choice. Okay. Freedom of choice to make decisions. So we want to make right decisions because of. Choices have what? Consequences. Did you know that? Yes. Choices have consequences. And a lot of times we don't look at the consequences of this choice, what it might bring. Because sometimes you can look at that choice and then you can also see what, if I do this, what will happen right here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we can do that. <laughs> You'll see. But he says, I have a plan for you. Now, my mind goes back. My mind goes back to, you remember when, in the story about when God delivered the children out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mind goes back to Numbers, the 13th chapter. Where he had got them out of Egypt. And, yeah, and he had promised them that he was going to take them to the what? Promised, promised land. land. That was not heaven, okay? Mm -hmm. That was a good place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of times we get that mixed up with going to heaven. <laughs> but that's not what that's talking about. It's talking about he was taking them to a land flowing with what? Milk and, Milk and honey. A new a new way of living, a new life. But a lot of them didn't get there because of some of the preachers. Here's what I'm saying. You know he sent out 12 spies, right? Okay. They were just almost to the, the, the Canaan land. So now they sent out 12 spies to go out and search it out, see what it was like, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Two came back with a what? Good report. The other ten came back with a negative four. See the uh, the land, the land was rich. It had milk and honey, in it. nice homes. You know what I'm saying up in there. But okay. they saw some giants in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were some giants in there. But God said, "Now I gave you that land." You're gonna, in life, you know, the promises of God, he has given us exceeding great in promises, but there might be some giants in the problem. Okay, okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh -huh. 
Is he, is he going to have some hills to climb? All right. Okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Well, he said, now, don't be afraid Amen. because I'm with you. Uh-huh. Same thing was about them. He said, I gave you the land. God said, I don't give you the land. It's going to be some giants in there sometimes. It's going to be some obstacles to uh, for you to reach that, uh, uh, that promise. To stand on that promise that God has given you. All right. Because everything's going to look contrary to it. Mm-hmm. So they saw the giants in there. So both of them saw the, uh, the, the, the two, uh, Joshua and Caleb, mm-hmm. and the other ten pastors, because all of them were the leaders of the uh, tribe. I just call them pastors. You hear what I'm saying? Because okay. they led the tribe. Because mm-hmm. you know there was uh, uh, 12 tribes, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now, he had picked leaders of each one of those tribes to go in there. So when they came back, two of them had good reports. The other ten had what? Negative reports. See, all twelve of them uh, uh, recognized the existence of the giants. Even Caleb and uh, Joshua saw the giants. Mm-hmm. See, when we live by faith, it's not living, living by faith is not ignoring the obvious. Okay. Do okay. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, you can if you got something going on, it's like me, if I got something going on in my body, okay, I'm not going to say, no, I don't have no high blood pressure. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not faith living. Right. Faith living is saying, yes, yeah. I, and you know, the doctors have uh, 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 said that I have high blood pressure and I'm on these pills, mm-hmm. but by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. Okay, okay. now. Okay. okay, okay. You, you know, you don't ignore. You just don't talk about that. Right. You don't look at that versus looking at what, uh, uh, what the word says. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Uh-huh. You, 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 uh-huh. Yeah, this is what's going on. See, so your pocketbook will talk to you and tell you, you're just as broke as us. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> but what you got to do, you, if you in the world, you got to talk back to that pocketbook. Uh-uh. I, I, I'm not broke. I'll never be broke a day in my life. The right. word of God says that if I give, it'll be given back to Come me. On. He's able to cause all grace and every earthly blessing to abound Lord. towards me. Yes, Lord. So, Lord, I thank you right now. You, you, you get rid of what the devil is saying in your mind because you're looking at what you see. Right. Amen. But anyway, we got to keep our minds on the word, what the word says. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See, God, God doesn't, uh, see, we got to realize who we are in Christ Jesus, realize that we are valuable. Okay. We got to yeah. realize that uh, do you know who you are in Christ Jesus? Mm-hmm. You got to know who you are in Christ Jesus. You have been accepted in the beloved. And I like what Darcy said this morning. She thanked God that she realized now that she's a, do you say a child of God? Yes, Lord. I'm a child of God now. Mm-hmm. God is my heavenly father. Mm-hmm. I have been accepted. You got to know who you are now. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. See, the enemy can tell you, you are nothing. Mm. You'll never be nothing. Your uh-huh. mama will uh-huh. 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 never The devil is a lie. And see, we are God's creation, his highest creation. Mm-hmm. And see, God didn't create no cheap merchandise. Come on with it. You better know he did not. Hallelujah. Exactly. See, we have worth and we have value. Mm-hmm. You got to know it. You got to know it. You got to know it. Got and see, know. he has implanted in us seeds of success. But you got to get your mind renewed so you can know this about uh-huh. yourself. We have been called into greatness. And see, let me get back there. But what happened to those spies? Okay, when they saw 10, when they saw those uh, giants, they come back talking about we can't take it because we just like grasshoppers. We look like grasshoppers compared to those, <laughs> come on, to, to those giants. Mm-hmm. We are, we are. 
But what did Caleb and Joshua say? He said, we are well able. We are well able. I am well able to succeed. I am well able to do this job. I am well able to improve. I am well able to succeed. I am well able to go higher. That's right. God, you got to talk like that. Right. Mm -hmm. You got something. If, if you in, know who you are in Christ, he wants you to talk like that. Amen? Amen. Okay. All right. Now, John 8 and 12 says, where Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Mm -hmm. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, in darkness but, but shall have the light <laughs> of life. What does that mean? Jesus, I'm the light of the world. I'm the intellect of the world. I'm the intelligence of the world. I'm the wisdom of the world. And if you follow me, you follow my light, you follow my wisdom, you follow my intelligence, Okay. you won't walk in darkness. darkness. That's right. In other words, he'll give you light on how to do this situation. Okay. He'll give you some <laughs> uh, 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 revelation uh -huh. on how to move this mountain. Okay. Okay. Right now. Right now. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> See the difference between the 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 the. Uh, Two spies, all, all of them had faith now. But ten had faith in the giants. Mm -hmm. they, they gonna take over. You see what I'm saying? Two had faith in God. Yeah. All right. But now. ten of them had faith in the giants. Okay. Uh huh. Good God, I'm all right. Okay. So what have you got faith in? All right now. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you got faith in that in, in, in that uh, job? Yeah. Have you got faith in this recession? Uh, or have you got faith in that I'm not going to ever make it? I'm not going to amount to anything. What you got faith in? Should, you should have faith in Good what Lord. the Word of God yes, says about your situation. That's right. Amen. 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 Now, Amen. you will never see now. Uh, uh, Joshua and, and Caleb, they were giant killers. All right. All right now. Come on. Uh, they, they Come say, on. I'm a giant killer and a great taster. All right now. <laughs> All right. Hello, somebody up in here. Yes, so. They were giant killers. The other one was uh, uh, the giants going to kill them. All right. <laughs> they had that mentality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will never reach the palace talking like a peasant. All right. You will never reach the palace, your place where you walk, your good place, talking like a peasant. Okay, now. See, mm -hmm. your, your conversation reveals whether you are a winner or a loser. Mm -hmm. All right. Say see, so see, now. see, losers major on the problem. Hello, somebody. Okay. Know anybody like that? Well, major on the problem. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. Winners talk about the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. They talk about the possibilities. Yes, sir. Got that. Losers discuss their obstacles. Winners talk about the opportunities. Oh, well, I can't do this right here because they're talking about the obstacles now. I can't do this right here because I don't have, I don't have this education. I don't have this I, I, I don't have this money. I don't have this. They're talking about the obstacles standing in their way for being a success in God. Who, who, who knows everything? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then about the money. Thank he God. said all the what belong to him. Go all the gold and silver yeah. is his. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And look, I've told you guys, there's plenty of money in this world here. There's plenty, plenty of money. Mm -hmm. About 3% of the population got the most of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Tell us somebody else it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but see, if you, you got to believe God. Uh, exactly. There you go. Put your trust in him. Mm -hmm. That's it. And whatever you need to do, whatever you need to go, he's going to provide. That's mm -hmm. right. Lord, thank you. He's going to provide for you. And he's going to do it. Stuff. See, we want we don't want to be losers. We don't have to be losers. Cause we are winners. We are winners. Mm -hmm. Did you hear what I'm saying up in here? Mm -hmm. And see, we got to stop acting like we're grasshoppers. Yeah. yeah. You know. Can't have this. Uh, can't go here. Can't do that. Whatever God is calling you to do, you can have it. You can be it. You can do it. Mm -hmm. Because you are uh 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 fearful and what? Wonderfully made. made. Exactly. You got to talk like I'm the head and not, not the tail. All right. You may not have two dimes to run together, <laughs> but you can still say I'm the head and not the tail. Mm -hmm. I'm above and not That's beneath. That's right. Correct. I can't That's go right. down for going over. That's right. Why? Because greater is he that's in me yes, sir. than he that's in the world. Yes, and I got the word of God, that, the one that said that I can, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes, sir. And, and, and I got the word of God that said with God all things are what? Possible. Where it looks like yes, it's impossible for man, but with God. Come on now. God. Say it. Hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Because if God be for me, All right. who in the world can be against me? There you go. There you go. Yes, wow. Wow. Yes, okay, now, so we, we got to bring it in because, okay, the grass, see, you just stop acting like a grasshopper. Come okay. on now. That's right. See yourself as a grasshopper. Mm -hmm. You got to, see, that, that paralyzes our faith flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We got. We got to. We've got to start to. Uh, instead of being complainers, we got to learn how to be conquerors. See, we are not grasshoppers. The ten spies talked about the size of the giants, but Joshua and Caleb talked about the size of the grapes. Yes, sir. Amen. <laughs> oh, look at the grapes coming out of there. Okay. Oh okay. my God! Yes. You know, the the grapes were so big that it took two men. To carry a bunch of grapes. Mm. Won't that land flowing? Yes, yes sir. I mean, yes, opportunity yes, in that land. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you got to meditate on that. Think about who you are in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Lord. Stop yes. looking at your back yes, right. and, yes, and yes, who yes, you right. born to and, yes. and what they did. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Realize who you are in Christ Jesus. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Who you are and who you are. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No. Start majoring on opportunities, not the obstacles. Start praising God for what you already have. Yes, sir. That yes, way first of all. Start that's praising, right. start that's praising right. God for what you already have. Exactly. That's you right. got more now than some of these third world countries uh, 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 could ever dream of having. Do you hear what I'm saying up in here? Yes. Come on now. Lord. Yeah, Amen. some of them uh, over there in them third world yeah. countries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They think that the lowest one over here living is, is rich. That's exactly mm. right. Mm. Because they mm -hmm. probably don't get but two dollars a day on working or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Yeah. And, and we over here complaining. Uh, that's true. Thank God for what you already got. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Every morning you get up, you thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank After you Lord. thank you for being in your right mind. Yes. And you got health and strength. Yes. Thank you for you, you let, got a place, a shelter over your head. Yes. Thank you that you, you you don't have to burn up in this heat. You got some air conditioning. Yes. And in the winter time, you thank him that you got some heat. Yes. You thank him for the, the food that you have in your deep freezer, in your refrigerator. Yes. 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 Thank you that you got money to put gas in your car. Mm -hmm. yes. See, thank you for what you already have. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank That's what you do. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Stop. This thank last you. little thing I got to give you, I got to close it out. Okay, you can tell a grasshopper by his reaction to the greeting. How are you? Okay, you ask the grasshopper, how are you? How are you doing? 
<laughs> he goes into details for the pain and hurt routine. Oh, okay. my, yeah. God. Okay. oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> he talks about his health. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, should I say his hurt? He. <laughs> he. Yes, Lord. Because a few of the people, people, few people don't go around telling how great their ears are hearing, their nose is smelling, their stomach is digesting, their eyes are seeing. You see what I'm saying? Oh, my eyes, I'm seeing good. This, but how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. My eyes are seeing, my stomach is digesting, my legs are taking me where I want to go. No, how you doing? Oh, man. <laughs> this right here was rough. I have a rough time. I tell you, I got this lumbago. I couldn't hardly straighten up. Lumbago. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh uh. No, sir. I don't plan on having no righteous folk. Okay, right. There you go. There you go. There you yes. go. Uh uh. Don't plan on having them. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rheumatism and arthritis and all them items. All them items. <laughs> all them items. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I used to tell my grandma when she used to tell me about this rheumatism or this arthritis she got. I said, Granny, I don't plan on having none of my items. Well, that's right. <laughs> Finna close it in now. But like I tell you, you can tell a grasshopper. Okay. So whenever you talk about it, you ask somebody, say, how you doing? How are you today? And they start going through that. Okay. Admittedly, your body going to say, grasshopper. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless they say, <laughs> but I realize that by the stripes of Jesus, I'm eating. Yeah. No, sometimes you don't tell somebody how you feel. I had to tell them, you, you know, you got to tell them how you feel sometimes. You know, sometimes you got to let them know. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know, because like I said, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's take this away from here. Your words are deciding your future. Okay, now. Your words like are that. deciding your future. I like that. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we just give you praise and we give you glory now. We give you honor. Thank you for loving us so much. Thank you for this yes. word. Thank you.